said this could happen. Donnie left post is back? You gotta be crazy. You crazy, man. You crazy. <laughs> yes. I am back. Back on my Donnie Vasquez channel, but now it's different. It's different now. It's Donnie Love. Yes, I'm just going to go all out Donnie Love on this channel. You can call me Mr. Donnie Love or just Donnie Love. <laughs> now, this is this is kind of my lazy form that I'm going to be doing. And I wanted to talk about Spider-Man Homecoming and Wonder Woman because I just recently saw both of them. Like. Just the other day. And so I sat down and I wrote this whole short little thing for this Donnie Love post. I have other animation things that I'm working on for the channel. And that stuff's going to come out later. But it's, it's some pretty good stuff. And some pretty... I mean, not high, top-notch an animated stuff, but it's there. Enough of the introductions. Welcome to the Donnie Love channel. Welcome to the Donnie Love post. <clears throat> this is, this, this is, I'm just going to be relaxed. I'm just going to talk it out. Just talk it out. Just talk it out. I, like I said, just saw Spider-Man Homecoming and Wonder Woman, and they both were phenomenal. Super entertaining. Super awesome. Super action-packed by far the superhero movies of the year sorry uh guardians you come in a close second i haven't ragnarok's not out yet but when did thor become guardians of the galaxy can anybody answer that i can't hear you you'll have to, you'll have to write it in the comments now i'm not going to give away any spoilers i just got some thoughts that i pretty much want to get out there and say and uh, share so there's no spoilers for this audio video yeah so i'm gonna start off with spider-man first because i saw that movie before i saw wonder woman and i have to say spider-man was very entertaining and by far one of the better of all the other spider-man movies and for an mcu movie i mean they're all entertaining so you're really not going to be disappointed. I mean, they might fall short on the story a little bit. But, I mean, yes, we now have an accurate, you know, 14-year-old Spider-Man. 15-year-old Spider-Man. And he's not trained, which makes him clumsy. And <laughs> he's just trying to be a superhero. And he says, you know, the first things that come to his mind, which makes him really funny. And he has this thing about... about being a superhero, you want to be with your friends. You want to be there for them. But, you know, he has these abilities and he has this responsibility that he knows that, you know, he has to sacrifice these things to save people, to be a hero. He just has to do the right thing. And that, you know, makes a, a good character. That makes a good story. And I'm very critical on storylines in movies that I believe that they have to be really good in order to be an ace movie. And I'm sorry, but this movie isn't an ace movie. But it's really good. There's a sense that Spider-Man wants to be with his friends. And he really wants to spend time with this girl. <laughs> but I feel that... That emotional level that needs to be conveyed about all of that just isn't strong enough. Maybe, maybe I'm, I mean, I'm not a teenager anymore, so maybe I don't, I'm, I'm not pulled towards those emotions much. Maybe not. I mean, some other people are. This is just kind of how I felt. And, but if we had a little bit more of those emotion conveyed to us, because the one other thing is that I feel that these emotions that could be conveyed got overshadowed with the comedy and entertainment level that Marvel likes to do with most of their movies is overshadow some, some, you know, real emotional moments with just comedy. And then we, we forget about those moments instead of letting them kind of sink in 
now spider-man is a funny character in the movies Ugh, excuse me <laughs> in the movies and the comics uh, you have to understand he's a he's a child who becomes an adult more mature and and matures Ugh. matures over time that comedy also matures and i would like to see that happen in the movies just putting that out there spider-man's character is funny but his story is a tragedy he's a kid who wants to do good with his powers but is constantly surrounded by death and separation from his friends i mean not only that he has an aunt who is constantly worried about him and he has an uncle who dies he has his parents who die he has his girlfriend's father dies he has his best friend's father dies his best friend becomes a villain and then his girlfriend dies and then you know these constant things that just continually happen and and then you're left with this one girl that he wants to be with that he just he knows that he can't because he can't be there for her the way that she wants him to be there and also, it seems like in every victory that he has against a villain, he still seems to lose in some way. And that's the element that I that I believe the the first two Spider-Man movie series got. They they understood those points, especially the Amazing Spider-Man. Boy, did they understand that. Spider-Man: Homecoming. They kind of, I mean, the element was there if you search for it, but it's lost in, I believe, the MCU style of entertainment. There's a character in the Homecoming movie that has a really good reason to kind of just be upset at life and everything, is, and really has a good reason to be, to be upset at Peter Parker and really take out all of their frustration on him. But what happened? Wonder Woman, I saw second. And before I actually saw this movie, I skimmed an article titled How Wonder Woman Saved the DCEU. And, well, it doesn't. But one movie does not redeem a franchise because the Wonder Woman movie doesn't even matter to the franchise. Wonder Woman is a standalone movie and will remain that way. And that is great for Wonder Woman. Uh, This is great that this movie can actually stand alone apart from the the DCEU. The movie that will save the DCEU, that that destiny, that that, uh, heavy weight rests on the shoulders of the Justice League movie. And I have huge doubts that, uh, I mean, my main doubt is that they will lack character development. Which made Man of Steel not great and Dawn of Justice not that great. And also, the, I mean, there is a lot of lack of character development in the uh, Suicide Squad movie. Which also made it not that great. In the movies, we, we gotta care about these characters. And Wonder Woman got that part right. I actually cared about Diana Prince and her cause. Which plays well into my What If Batman vs. Superman movie was better. Um, also known as trinity doomsday and that's a video i'm still working on i'm actually almost done writing it and that will be coming out in the near future but back to wonder woman i felt compassion for the justice and doing what is right uh, mentality of diana in the war she was fighting to not just stop a bad guy but to save people Whoa! Whoa! Donnie Love, what are you talking about? You mean there's an actual hero saving people? Not just fighting a big threat with no regard for people around them? <laughs> Which is another thing that all the Spider Man movies got right about a superhero fighting to save people, not fighting just to stop a villain. We gotta. A hero, a superhero saves the people before fighting the villain. You gotta look out for the ones who can't look out for themselves. When did we get off track with superheroes needing to save civilians because of something they caused or a bad guy has a vendetta and you fight around cities where people are prone to get in the way? Take your business somewhere away from the populated areas. Can I get an amen? 
the question with Wonder Woman, with the Wonder Woman movie, is they make her super powerful. Like, super, super powerful. So, the question is, where was that power when fighting Doomsday in Batman vs. Superman? Did she lose her abilities? I, I don't want to spoil anything, but I can understand if she lost some of her abilities. Kinda? Not really? That's all I had to say. I, if you haven't seen these movies, you should go see them because they are awesome and should be seen by you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'm still working on the Trinity Doomsday screenplay thing that I'm writing. Like I said, I'm almost done with the writing. And then I got to work on some storyboard sketches because I'm going to have some sketches to go along with it. Hopefully, I'll have it done by the end of August. And I'll be doing other videos as they come to me. Like vlog type animations and more Donnie Love post stuff. That's just going to be audio, no animation stuff. Stay tuned. Stay fresh. Stay clean. Donnie love you. Spider-Man Homecoming loves you. Wonder Woman loves you. DCU and MCU, they all love you. Show support. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and please, no pictures. <laughs>